In this video, you will learn how to win with rook and h-pawn against the bishop from one of the best players in history, the grandmaster from India, Pragananda. Hello everyone and welcome back! So, today we will see a match between India against Uzbekistan with white pieces, Pragananda against Sindarov. So this game was played two years ago in the Olympic 2022 and you know this position is very very difficult to win because I must admit I learned how to do it at least two years from now. So I already played 20 years in my career and didn't know how to win such position so it's really interesting and we will learn here a lot so black just played the move bishop to d3 white played the move king g3 and bishop to g6 rook a6 bishop d3 rook a5 and king h4 rook g5 king h6 of course and rook d5 bishop c2 check king g5 and rook d7 king g8 and the point is that if this pawn will go to h6 this position will be just draw let's uh, show it for example h4 bishop c2 h5 bishop b1 h6 bishop c2 and there is nothing to do because rook d8 check king f7 rook d7 king g8 for example rook g7 check you will play of course king h8 because after king f8 just king f6 with h7 right so just king h8 and that's it this bishop is blocking the way for this king okay so this position is just a draw if the pawn will move forward from h4 okay so in this position if the pawn will go to h5 it's a draw okay let me show you also the the computer analysis for this so rook c7 for example king h8 h4 king g8 h5 this is already a draw so the only winning position here is when the pawn is not crossing the five row okay For, don't forget it so a prague played the move rook c7 bishop d3 and now king h6 bishop f5 and this is the way to to win it he's playing the move rook to g7 check the point here is black is playing the move king to f8 as if he's playing the move king h8 white will play h4 for example bishop c2 rook c7 and i don't know bishop for example bishop b3 you are doing h5 right now and the next move will be king g6 with h6 and the game is over okay this is a little bit uh, you know more simple than what we will learn after it after bishop a2 for example rook c8 check bishop g8 and now king g5 uh, king g7 for example h6 king h8 and now just rook i don't know for example um to c7 at least and bishop a2 for example and just h7 and king h6 and checkmate right so this is interesting and uh, easy to play but after bishop h7 you're doing check for example bishop g8 i don't know rook d8 king h7 and now maybe check king h8 and now king g6 with h7 with rook d8 checkmate you understand what I mean? So overall, after rook g7, if black is playing the move king h8, just pushing the pawn, and you know, you will have the possibility to win it um, because you, after the bishop will come to g8, you will play king g6, h6, h7, and the game is over. But black is playing the move king f8, and now rook g3. So as you can see, you just blocking the way for this king to go to h8. And now let's see what is the next. Um, chapter to win this position so bishop c2 rook g2 is a little bit playing with him and now uh, after bishop c2 you know just playing a little bit and now rook g3 bishop c2 and now h4 so prague is playing the move h4 and as we already know if we are playing the move h4 everything is fine h5 should be draw right so for example after king f7 if we are playing the move h5 now it's a draw as you can see the computer also um you know approve it so bishop b1 and that's it we don't have any options to win so you know the point here for win is somehow to bring the rook here to g5 for example if 
let's say bishop b1, I'm playing the move rook to g5, and after king f7, we are playing the move king to h5 with king g4, king f4, and why it's winning? For example, bishop c2, king g4, bishop b1, h5, bishop c2, king f4, for example, bishop d3, h6, king f6, and rook g7. As the, in, in the next move will be rook a7 and h7 and just h8 if he's not taking it, right? So this position is just losing absolutely after bishop g6, rook c7 and h7 and, and white is winning. So this is the only way to win. So because of it, you must uh, ensure that this pawn will be on h4 and not move to h5 because we must do it king h5 and king g4. And let me show one more uh, option to play for black. If after king h5, I don't know, bishop c2, you know, let's say here, bishop c2, king h5, and now bishop d1 check, white can play just the move king g6, and after king g8, because uh, we just want to play king f6, right? And after, you know, you know, king g8, this is the point, because after king f6, he's going back to h7. So in this position, White has a very beautiful move, rook to c5 with just a checkmate threat. So just king f8 because bishop c2 is never uh, happened because rook takes c2. So king f8 and this position is just losing after rook c8, king e7 and I don't know, just, uh, you know, it's winning absolutely. I think just king g7 should be winning, right? Rook f8 and, uh, you know, rook f2 and just pushing the pawn, right? It's very easy because the king is just uh, in e5, right? So. Let's see what happened. h4, king f7. So why this is the best move in the position? Because now if I'm playing the move, uh, for example, rook g7, king f8, rook g5, he will play the move king f7, and after king h5, bishop d1 check. So the king is not going not to g4 and not to g6, okay? So after rook g7, king f8, uh, rook g5, just king f7, this is the way to play with black, but... After king f7, white played the move rook to c3. Very strong move by Pragananda. And I know that he just knew how to win it. Because after bishop b1, now he's playing rook f3 check. King coming to g8, and now rook g3 check. King f7, rook g7 check. The point is that after king f6, for example, just rook g1. And I'm, I'm giving the check, right? For example, bishop d3, rook g3, bishop e4, rook g4. I will give the check. This king goes to the e file and king g5 with h, h pawn running just, right? So after rook g7, king f8. And now rook g5. This position is just winning. Why? Because after king f7, we have king h5 with king g4. And as we already learned, right? And if he's playing here the move bishop c2, king h5 with uh, the threat king g4 after bishop d1 we will have king to g6 and this position is winning as we already understand so this was what was in the game king f7 king h5 king f6 just king g4 bishop c2 h5 king f4 h6 and here rook g1 the next move of course will be after bishop d3 rook g7 rook a7 and h7 and white won the game so after rook g1 sindarov Resigned the game and Pragananda won a very important game in the match India against Uzbekistan So thank you very much Prague that you really did it brilliantly this end game We learn from you a lot and maybe the next time we will have this position We will learn how to win and succeed to do it. So if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. And you know what? Very, very soon, the Olympic 2024 in Budapest, Hungary. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.